Hello everyone, welcome to the daily analysis video. So uh, let's get started. Uh, what happened today and uh, what we are expecting next. So today mostly like as I also uh, posted on Twitter that is mainly the straddle guys like both the sides writing positions were taken by the big guys and they were eating premium. Okay, even like uh, Nifty was going up then the premiums uh, like were not increasing as much uh, as they should and also when it was coming down it was not increasing okay and over the time so uh, the premiums uh, on both the sides were decreasing so uh, th that's why it was mostly a straddle uh, uh, day but uh, yes again uh, like uh, until unless these straddles are getting uh, are booking their profit so uh, option buyers will have some problem but still like uh, there was some big uh, buyer like uh, there was some big put buyer and uh, they they bought 22,000 P at 92 to 93 okay I noticed that but then our money flow score was positive so that's why I did not uh, go and uh, like uh, if you look look here uh, even after 2 p.m. the money fo flow was, score was good uh, enough okay so it was showing strength okay but uh, then like just before 3 p.m. I saw that the money flow score were decreasing okay so if you notice 40 uh, from 50 it came to 40 and then the 30s okay so that's like uh, at the end so what happened was the big put buyers who bought uh, 22,000 PE they they started doing something like they started taking the market down and that's where I took the advantage just at uh, 3 p.m. okay but yes I do accept that when I just posted uh, this message so uh, like uh, the price went to I bought it at 75 I posted the price went to 78 okay exactly 78 78 okay and uh, I mean uh, again I won't take any credit uh, because I, I'll show that yes I bought at 75 see so much profit no so let the truth be there so uh, that is uh, the price went to 78 okay but yes uh, for one or two minutes the price was uh, about 78 to 79 just go and check the charts uh, on one minute you will get to know okay and then it jumped to 92 okay and I also mentioned before it jumped the price jumping to 92 that I saw some big guys buying at that price okay so and then the price jumped to 92 and not only 92 it went to 99 also as far as I remember okay so uh, the thing is that yes uh, that was uh, uh, that was my uh, catching of the put bias today but anyways the thing is that uh, let's come to the chart so the charts if you look at here that is uh, uh, I mean uh, the levels are working perfectly fine like 22,053 where finally nifty took support after it crossed that level even in the morning as well if you look at our money money flow so it was negative okay but uh, in the morning so big guys were taking short positions but uh, as you can see like there was a sharp down move again market recovered but then again it went down to our level 21,926 I also mentioned that this level is acting as a support in the last video as well so these levels should be there in your charts uh, otherwise like uh, I mean you should follow the levels at least okay even for bank nifty also you see nicely it worked the last day I told you that bank nifty is going between these two levels and today also it took support at this level and then went up okay and talking about even fin nifty as well fin nifty was hovering around uh, this level 20,649 it came down very near to that our level 20,393 and then again it shot up okay and again it went to that next level and took support there so anyways uh, the levels are working perfectly fine as we have discussed and uh, today uh, again if you look at here that is for now uh, our gift nifty is down but uh, again uh, I have lost all faith on gift nifty so let's exclude that from our analysis anyways talking about uh, our FIS DIS data so again they have bought and sold for the same quantity almost 2500 crores and uh, talking about we will come to the option chain as well so uh, first let's go to the EOD data so before going there again bank nifty money flow was negative but then uh, as you see like uh, I mean things recovered if you look at even bank nifty so it went exactly to our level so the thing is that when it goes to our level so then you should be cautious and just wait not uh, greed should not overpower you okay so uh, like the score was negative bank nifty went down and after that you see the score recovering very fast and then it went up even if you look at uh, the graph of our money flow how it performed today here so you'll notice that here it went down and then after this like look at here after 
after uh, 942 the scores uh, slowly slowly started like recovering okay uh, recovered and then finally like there was this fall and then again the score sharply recovered from there and uh, as you can see after that bank nifty also shot up okay now talking about our nifty if you look at here that is uh, in the morning it went down okay but then after that if you look at here from 9 uh, uh, 920 onwards it again recovered and it went above the neutral zone and again uh some it came down by by a little but then again it started recovering here okay and finally things shot up and uh, it went up okay and uh, yes at the end it was like uh, i mean uh, here as you can see like clearly it's visible that from look at the time okay why i shot it at the end because look at the time 1439 from 1439 onwards uh the score uh, sharply started coming down okay and that's that was the main reason i shot it okay at just at the end at 3 pm so i knew that like uh, also there was a reason because if you look at the option chain 22000 ce also the riders were there and it was uh, as i told you the straddle today okay so uh, there was a very lesser chance that it could shot up from there so straddle guys were present so that's why like uh, there was a high chance that we could see again uh down move okay not much like uh, a balance down move uh, to balance out the up move anyways uh, let's go to the eod data so eod data and uh, if you want such live analysis and access to the indicators you can be a part of the derivatives indicator group and uh, also don't forget to take the month uh, year end sell so uh, uh, I, i mean it only will last for uh, uh i mean the uh, i mean only a few days are left uh, for this march to end and uh, so it's a year end sell so anyways if you want you can take the advantage of it and uh, yeah now let's come to the eod data so eod data you see that again uh, short positions have been built up by the both fis and probdex in the futures but not in heavy quantity so this is a normal quantity okay so uh, we shouldn't rely much upon this but yes they also haven't we should also consider that they haven't booked their short position so that is a very very uh, great question uh like that is a million dollar question why uh, why aren't they closing okay so let's also look at their option chain data so option chain if you look at here that is fis have done like the straddle okay they have done put writing as well as call writing so they are the straddle guys but uh, talking about prop dex their data is changing okay so how is the data changing overall if you look at now that is they have put writing as well as call writing okay so they have taken a significant amount of put writing today so i think because tomorrow is fed nifty expiry that's why they have taken there and uh, the major point being here is that like look at this suddenly the call buying has started by the prop decks but uh, overall if you look at here that is yes uh, they are overall like call writers and put writers but again the change you should note okay overall data is fine but the change is very important that is the change whatever the change is so it's showing that like Uh, they are going with the call buying as well okay so these call buyings we should be very careful about so the one point is like uh, these call buyings are done in the april month so i think uh, nifty can go up uh, because it's taking a nice support at 22000 it's not breaking down and uh, i'll show you on the option chain as well so overall this eod data so this eod data if you look at here that is uh, mostly it's giving signal of straddle Uh, in the option and uh, in the futures it's bearish okay so in the futures also it's slightly bearish not heavily bearish and also let's uh, come to our uh, option chain so option chain if you look at the current expiry so uh, if you look at the pcr ratio it's 0.78 so which is also still not a bullish uh, signal uh, today market went up uh, just because most of the guys were shorting okay there was not much reason because Uh, even if you look at here that is the uh, 22000 call writers are still holding their positions the big call writers i mean and uh, even if you took uh, let's go uh, uh, so we'll go to the later expiries uh, so let's go to fin nifty and bank nifty so bank nifty expiry uh, like uh, the day after tomorrow so even bank nifty like 47000 we discussed uh, last week that 48000 was one of the major levels as, uh, i mean resistance level that was building up and now 47000 is also a uh, major resistance level that is building up okay and uh, also like on the put side you will see that some closing is also happening so put side is not looking that great and uh, also like let's um, look at fin nifty okay so bank nifty uh, we should like look at uh, 
just before the expiry date or on the expiry date so it's mostly like uh, unreliable the other days okay and uh, now coming down to uh, so from bank nifty uh, option chain what you can get is the major support and the levels from option chain but if you want to get the intraday view so uh, majorly it happens uh, in fin nifty and bank nifty like the day before so the majority of the chunk goes to nifty okay so come to uh, let's come to option chain of uh, fin nifty tomorrow expiry so uh, even if you look at here there are some call writers in the money and also like here the, uh, the put writers like today you saw the put writing so these are the put writing that that has been done in fin nifty and fin nifty if you look at here that is uh, the pcr ratio is again 0.79 not a huge bullish signal but uh, a fair uh, like uh, a balance signal okay so coming down to uh, april expiry so let's go to the uh, nifty ex april expiry so if you look at here that is uh, 20 22500 oi is building up so that's where uh, my analysis is saying is that the prop decks are buying the, their calls okay in the month of april so i think they are expecting uh, nifty to go above 22500 so even if it goes above and they are buying at 285 or 280 rupees so at least they would expect nifty to go to uh, 23k okay and uh, so that's that's what my analysis is saying and uh, also like uh, let's let's uh, so i think i have discussed everything and also if you look at here that is the ma uh, that is uh, the june okay so the june expiry if you look at here uh, so i mean it's uh, still like uh, i mean in the june uh, fourth there will be this result declared and uh, so the june month still like um, i mean op, uh, building has i mean option positions building have started but let's come to the may month okay so the may month if you look at here that is heavy decreasing uh, uh, decrease of premium uh, has been done on both the sides like you see here 59 percent or somewhere 20 percent 30 percent so 20 percent on an average premium has decreased uh, and also on the put side as well so uh, that is what uh, the main thing is to see is like uh, uh, I mean uh, what what happens like uh, this expiry because uh, straddle guys are mostly dominating this expiry and so one side they have to close so that the market can rally and that's where we have to catch them okay so that's overall my analysis and again uh, my as of, as of now the straddle guys are there so both sides we can see movement and uh, then finally i think market will go up but we have to wait for the final uh, closing of the call writers okay so that we get the signal and then we can take positions uh, accordingly okay and uh, yeah if you want such analysis during the live market hours you can be a part of the radio videos indicator group and thanks for watching and keep watching and keep learning